the solution for this example we need something that will look up for example the surname burger and find it and you'll see it's over here H burger but that H dot is going to give us a problem if we use a straight VLOOKUP so the way we're going to do it is we're going to use wildcard characters so we're going to go to VLOOKUP we know we want to look up the surname but we're not sure if there's anything before or after the surname so in inverted commas we're going to put a star and the ampersand and afterwards ampersand and the star so now we're going to tell Excel to look for some cells that contain the word burger somewhere. There could be something before, there could be something after. Where must it look? In this IT list, put the dollar signs. We want to pull through the email address, which is column 2. In the range lookup, we'll just put false. And when I say OK, we get an email address, and I can now copy it down. So that's fine. However, there is a risk that some of these surnames repeat themselves. So if you're familiar with using COUNTIF, we're going to do it now. Otherwise, you can learn it later. So we're now going to do a COUNTIF. And what this is going to do, similar to the VLOOKUP, it's going to look up where there's burgers, except this will count how many times it would have found burger. So the range we're going to say is over here. Put our dollar signs on. And the criteria, in the same way as we did the VLOOKUP, needs to look up burger. But before, we're not sure what's there. So we're going to put the multiplication sign and the ampersand. And afters, we're not sure. Inverted commas. And when I say OK, it tells me 1. So that means it only found this search to be true once. When we copy it, you'll then see that occasionally there are twos. The easiest way just to check what's happening here is when, then we generally put the filter on, show only the cases where something appears twice or more. And for example, you'll see here there's someone called high ball and there's a loo ball. VLOOKUP by default will always choose the first one, so in this case we probably need to just find the correct email address here. But you can see it's a lot easier to work just on those email addresses rather than to have to look all of these.